Good evening, and welcome to the Serve DC Spirit of Service Awards virtual red carpet event. My name is Alexis Squire, and I have the great pleasure of serving as the interim director of the Mayor's Office on Volunteerism and Partnerships, affectionately known as Serve DC. Tonight, we have the great honor of highlighting a few of the district's leading residents, change makers, and community-based organizations who personify our DC values through service, volunteerism, and civic engagement. I am most excited to celebrate these amazing hometown heroes and recognize their inspiring work to make our city a more inclusive, vibrant, and resilient place to work, play, and thrive. In the last few months of 2020, with the support of the group of trusted local servant leaders known as our Champion Circle, we launched the DC Spirit of Service Awards and the nominations poured in. Tonight, we are excited to honor those who answered the call to serve. With almost 200 nominations, we knew just how important this opportunity was to express our sincere appreciation for all that you do and give. While we are incredibly proud of tonight's winners, we would also like to recognize all of our nominees committed to doing good across the city. Your acts of service help to advance our mission of connecting people to purpose to address some of our city's most pressing challenges. To our esteemed commissioners and champion circle, thank you for allowing us to leverage your strong presence and commitment to our community and for breathing new energy into this great initiative. To our community members and partners for your impeccable responsiveness and to all of you this evening joining us. Before we begin, I'd like to introduce someone who inspires us to serve in new, better, and different ways, our fearless leader, Mayor Muriel Bowser, followed by our commission chair, Mr. Brandon Andrews. Madam Mayor, Hello everyone, I'm Mayor Muriel Bowser. I want to congratulate the nearly 200 nominees and seven esteemed honorees of the 2020 DC Spirit of Service Awards. These residents, community-based organizations, and multi-sector partners demonstrated what's possible when we work together to donate our talent, time, and resources to support our city. They embody our DC values, and we're proud to celebrate the work and legacy of these hometown heroes. So join me in thanking our 2020 DC Spirit of Service Award honorees. May tonight's celebration continue to inspire all of us to serve DC and uplift our neighbors. Thank you, Director Squire, and good evening. Welcome to Serve DC's Spirit of Service Awards virtual red carpet event. My name is Brandon Andrews. I have the honor of serving as the chairman of the DC Commission on National and Community Service for the board for Serve DC and one of 50 state commissions responsible for engaging with the Corporation for National and Community Service and facilitating the AmeriCorps program nationwide. This past year has presented significant challenges for our city, our nation, and our world due to the public health emergency and the need to respond to calls for social justice. Serve DC and our community partners have met this moment. Yes, unprecedented challenges require innovation and response. However, it's the all too familiar response of neighbor helping neighbor of workers showing up on the front line and in the background that has given our community the resilience it needs to move forward. Tonight, we pause to celebrate those frontline workers, community organizations, businesses, and volunteers. I'm proud to continue a long served DC tradition of celebrating those who serve and making sure that we honor those who do it best across all eight wards. Tonight, I'm grateful for our honorees. I'm also grateful for our circle of champions, 
folks with significant presence and platforms that allowed Serve DC to leverage their network as we began sharing the message about our Spirit of Service Awards. Join me in congratulating our honorees and our almost 200 nominees that the honorees were selected from. These folks represent the best of DC and their commitment to service inspires us all to serve to show more DC hope through service. Thank you for joining us tonight. Thank you to Mayor Bowser for her commitment to service. Now that the celebration begins. Good evening, my name is Stacy Samuel, and it is a privilege to host the annual DC Spirit of Service Awards. Tonight we are honoring community organizations, cross-sector partners, and residents for their deep commitment to curating and connecting those who seek to do good across our city. Every year, Serve DC provides emergency preparedness training to educate families and individuals on preparing and assisting for emergencies or disasters that may impact their community. Tonight, we are recognizing Alexandra Diaz with the Emergency Preparedness Youth Award. Alexandra Diaz, a School Without Walls alum, is a first-generation DCCAP scholar at George Mason University studying community health with a concentration in clinical science with hopes of becoming a doctor. She says her passion is to help people, especially those who don't have essential health care resources. Thank you so much for this amazing recognition and honor. Thank you to those who nominated me, as well as Serve DC and Mayor Bowser. It was an honor to work with Serve DC, the Retro Summer Youth Preparedness Academy. This academy was especially crucial in 2020 due to the ongoing pandemic, and I am so grateful for different skills in the emergency field that I learned, which led me to obtain certifications in CPR, first aid, and AED. The Spirit of Service Ready, Set, Serve Youth Emergency Preparedness Award means a lot to me because it recognizes the importance of teaching and learning about how to respond in emergencies and disasters. I believe that these are skills everyone should be able to know and learn, especially in our beloved city of the District of Columbia. 2020 and the start of 2021 has taught us that anything can happen in our communities. With this training, I will be able to help those in need of emergency attention. Thank you again for this honor and a special thank you to those who taught me these skills. We would also like to recognize Ben Curran with the Emergency Preparedness Adult Award. Ben is a native Washingtonian and serves as a deputy branch chief for Mass Care Voluntary Agency Coordination and Community Services with FEMA. In the late 1980s, he began his outreach career with the International Rescue Committee in Sudan during the Ethiopian refugee crisis. Nearly a decade later, he joined the FEMA response operations and has supported several disasters throughout the country, including the Oklahoma City bombing, 9-11 here in Washington, D.C., Hurricane Katrina, and most recently, the COVID-19 FEMA Headquarters Response Operations Center in D.C. I'm Ben Curran. On behalf of my small volunteer group, Southwest Strong, I want to say a great big thank you to Mayor Bowser and Serve DC for this, for this honor. The Emergency Preparedness Award will help bring more attention to our efforts. We deeply appreciate the boost. We are part of Southwest Neighborhood Assembly, the long-standing civic association 
in Southwest that serves the whole Southwest community in several ways. Our vision is to build a community where all individuals, families, houses of worship, the wharf businesses, the fish market, the hotels, the schools, the whole community, learn about the hazards we face and prepare themselves in order to be resilient when disasters happen. We organize talks, discussions, exercises for kids and adults, literature distribution, disaster festivals, anything to get the community thinking, talking, planning together. Our values include respect for all, participation, inclusion, civic responsibility, and building back better. Thank you, Alexandra Diaz and Ben Curran. We appreciate your service. Serve DC is a long-standing partner of AmeriCorps, a service program to help others and to meet the community's critical needs. Through AmeriCorps, Serve DC provides support to nonprofit and community-focused organizations in the district. The Commission's Award for National Service recognizes a past or present AmeriCorps organization currently administering a national service program that demonstrates exemplary commitment to volunteerism and national service. We're proud to honor After School All-Stars with this Commission's Award for National Service. Founded in 1993, After School All-Stars aims to help students and support working families through free comprehensive after-school programs in cities across the nation. They design these programs to keep children safe and help them succeed and thrive in all aspects of their life. With a keen awareness of the Serve DC Commission's unique position, landscape, needs, and investment priorities, After School All Stars possesses an ability to effectively drive change and impact within AmeriCorps programs and across our local and national communities. Accepting the Commission's award is Daniela Grigioni, Executive Director of After School All Stars. truly honored and humbled to receive the Commission's Award for National Service. I am very grateful to those who nominated me and my organization, as well as to Mayor Bowser and Serve DC for selecting me. At After School of Stars, we have seen the needs of the community we serve shift and change during the pandemic. Suddenly, we found that we needed to do much more than providing after school services for, for middle school students. So, we adapted and changed ourselves and supported by the philanthropic community in DC, donors and partners, by our, our amazing board of directors and our own dedicated team, we were able to provide food when needed to address the digital divide for students, to su provide support for parents, as well as a social safety net through mentoring and programming for our students in times of isolation. The Spirit of Service Commission Award is deeply meaningful because it celebrates and recognizes the work that After School of Stars team and staff have done. Washington, D.C., we are better together. Thank you. Congratulations, After School All Stars. Thank you for your commitment to national service. Through meaningful investments in strategic alignment with community-based organizations and the public sector, this honoree is an industry leader and an example of best-in-class partnership, ingenuity, and innovation. We are honored to award the Public-Private Partnership Achievement and Collaboration Award to the Washington Area Community Investment Fund. Established in 1987, the Washington Area Community Investment Fund's mission is to increase equity and economic opportunity in underserved communities in the Washington metropolitan area by investing knowledge, social, and financial capital in low and moderate income entrepreneurs. Recently, they joined the political polling firm Morning Consult, along with Pepco, to launch the Small Business Resilience Fund. This fund aims to support small business owners in underserved neighborhoods in need of capital to repair, rebuild, and restart their businesses due to the pandemic's effects. On behalf of the Washington Area Community Investment Fund, I would like to thank Mayor Bowser and Serve DC for such a wonderful award. 
2020 was an unprecedented year, from the pandemic to social unrest across the city. And our team worked tirelessly to ensure that entrepreneurs across the city and across the region had the assistance to navigate and survive during these trying times. Through dynamic partnerships with the district government, corporate, and philanthropic partners, WAKEF was able to provide over $11 million in 1,700 grants, low-cost debt, and debt relief and other financial assistance. The 2020 Service Award means so much, not only to me, but to our entire team, inclusive of our staff, our board, and the many stakeholders that help drive our efforts through countless hours, working days, nights, and weekends during these uncertain times. This work can be draining and thankless, but I continue to be inspired by the way that the community and partners have rallied around our work even more, the resilience of our entrepreneurs. So on behalf of the Wake of Team, thank you again, Mayor Bowser and Serve DC for recognizing us for such a wonderful award. Congratulations, Washington Area Community Investment Fund. Thank you for your innovative solution to assisting small businesses in the district. The Donor Difference Award recognizes one organization that has made significant financial or in-kind contributions in support of critical local government initiatives, including education, affordable housing, public safety, and health and human services. We are proud to announce the Donor Difference Awards honoree is the DC Public Education Fund. The DC Public Education Fund has raised more than $150 million in high-impact private investments to support DC public schools. In 2020, DC Public Education Fund contributed over $8 million worth of in-kind and financial donations to the district. Their contributions have supported DC public schools in their day-to-day -day operations, including staffing support and technology. Accepting the Donor Difference Award is Jeannie Lee, President and Executive Director of DC Public Education Fund. On behalf of the DC Public Education Fund staff and board of directors, we want to thank Mayor Bowser and Serve DC for selecting us as a recipient of the Donor Difference Award. It is an honor to be recognized for our dedication and service to DC Public Schools. The DC Education Fund's mission is to raise private dollars for the system's most transformative legacy initiatives. And with the help of our incredible donors, we have raised over $150 million in the last decade to support students. We have also been incredibly grateful to our donors for stepping in quickly during COVID and funding over $1.4 million in technology and basic needs, especially for our students who are furthest from opportunity. Lastly, I want to say thank you to Chancellor Farabee and his elite team at DC Public Schools. Your partnership is what makes our work possible. Thank you. Thank you for all that you do. Congratulations to the DC Public Education Fund. This next award recognizes an individual and community-based organization that has demonstrated outstanding commitment to connecting our most vulnerable residents to critical services and resources through service and volunteerism. We are proud to honor Selima Dofo with the Individual Community Impact Award. With over 20 years of community organizing and leadership, Selima Dofo actively engages with the community and spearheads an initiative to reshape and reimagine volunteer operations and activities to sustain hope for DC residents. Currently, Salim serves as an advisory neighborhood commissioner for 8C and a commissioner for the Mayor's Commission on African American Affairs. We are proud to honor Salim Adofo with the Individual Community Impact Award. Greetings. 
This is Commissioner Selim Adolfo. I would like to say thank you to Mayor Bowser and the members of the Serve DC team for recognizing me for the Individual Impact Community Award during the Spirit of Service Awards. This award actually belongs to the members of the National Black United Front, the Grambling State Alumni Association, DC Chapter, the National Society of Black Engineers, the NAACP, and the World Aid Democrats. I am a member of all of those different organizations and it is because of the work that they do that I'm able to be recognized for this award. Our work extends from HBCU tours to our Feed the Hood project, STEM classes, and civic engagement, as well as fighting for the rights of those who have been adversely impacted by the criminal justice system. Thank you for this acknowledgement, and let's continue on doing our best to serve the residents of the District of Columbia. Thank you. Congratulations, Salim. Thank you for your work and efforts in our communities across the district. It is an honor to award the Organization Community Impact Award to Project Give Back. Project Give Back, founded in 1995, aims to provide a space for corporate firms and professionals to give back to the communities in which they work and reside. Their primary program is the annual Thanksgiving food distribution, which has provided food baskets to more than 12,000 families. They also offer year-round programs for students in need, like hosting toy drives, donating school supplies, and giving community organizations laptops and computers. Accepting this award is Ransom Miller III, the founder and chairman of Project Give Back. Hello. My name is Ransom Miller III, founder and chairman of Project Give Back. I'd like to thank those who nominated us for the Spirit of Service Award. God has placed some awesome people around me that have given themselves to ensure our ability to make a difference in our community. My wife, Hardisha, is my rock. She's also our vice chair. Thank you for your leadership. Over the past 26 years, our team has been amazing. But this year's effort allowed them the opportunity to step up and lead in new ways. Pulling off simultaneous events was difficult, but these community heroes mastered the difficult tasks and got it done. With your support, we'll continue to do great work in DC. Mayor Bowser and Serve DC, thank you for recognizing our efforts to make a difference in our community. I truly believe the best is yet to come. Thank you, peace. Congratulations, Project Give Back. Thank you for your work and efforts in our communities across the district. The final award tonight is for Mayor Bowser's DC Hope Award, which recognizes the best of the best in civic engagement, service, and volunteerism across DC. This honoree has identified a need within their community and demonstrated a genuine commitment to creating solutions. Through the coordination and activation of service and volunteerism, our honoree personifies hashtag DC values and utilizes civic engagement as a tool to be the change she wishes to see in the world. Congratulations, Jessica Brown, for answering the call to serve. Jessica is the founder of College Girl, president of the College Girl Foundation, author of How to Pay for College When You're Broke, and the children's book, College Girl's First College Tour. She educates students and families on how to make the best informed decisions around financing a college education. Often referred to as the financial aid fairy godmother, her mission is to ensure students can access an affordable and quality education. Congratulations again, Jessica, and thank you for helping others and creating a significant impact across our city. Thank you to everyone who nominated me to receive the Spirit of Service Award 2020 DC Hope Award from Mayor Bowser. My name is Jessica Brown and I am the president of the College Girl Foundation, which exposes Washington DC high school students to different colleges, careers, mentoring, and scholarship opportunities. Currently, 77% of DC public school students are economically disadvantaged, 60% of them being African American and 20% Hispanic. This standard of living is impacting these students from achieving their educational endeavors. However, through the College Girl Foundation, 
we are able to create a world of promise and opportunity for these students to ensure that they become the next future leaders of tomorrow. Hope has been the gift that keeps on giving and it has allowed me to change the world. And I am so thankful for this honor to be able to help our youth achieve their dreams. Thank you so much to Mayor Bowser, the residents of Washington, D.C., and my students for believing in me and allowing me to be the face of hope. Thank you so much for this honor. On behalf of Mayor Bowser and the 712,000 Washingtonians, I want to congratulate all of our DC Spirit of Service Award honorees. Each person and organization highlighted tonight has an extensive and proven track record in advocating for communities and providing essential resources and services to ensure a fair shot for all residents. Thank you all for your continued service and commitment to the district. And thank you all for joining us tonight in celebrating the impact of volunteerism in the district. Good night.